Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is an incredible honour to stand here today as the Commander Joint Task Force 633. It's a large role, it's not lost on me the responsibility to ensure that we care for and enable the men and women of the task force to achieve their mission here in the Middle East. For a naval officer and an officer in the Australian Defence Force, there is no greater privilege than commanding ADF people at sea or on operations. Today marks the end of a period during which I've had the honour of commanding more than 7,000 Australian Defence Force people as they've served in Joint Task Force 633 over the last 12 months. In my tenure as Commander Joint Task Force 633, I hope to continue the outstanding work of my predecessor, Rear Admiral Hill, to ensure that we enhance regional security and stability in the region. It is not lost on me that the only way that the men and women of our Joint Task Force can achieve their mission is through the sacrifice and support of our families back home, and I sincerely thank them for their ongoing support and uh, would love them to know that it's absolutely vital to our success over here.